It's important to notice that beauty matters, as Grog once told me, that if you kill a cockroach, you're a hero, if you kill a butterfly, you're a monster. And I looked at history, and history is an interesting thing because feminists like to say that we need to put some more female involvement in history. It's his story, so there's stuff like women's studies and things like that to keep females interested. I feel like they matter for these subjects, which in many cases they do matter. But there's something that they haven't considered when they think about something like history, which, well, there's a lot of things that they don't consider. But one of those things happens to be the fact that males are disposable, expendable. You can see it all the time. If a guy that nobody gives a fuck about dies, then he's dead. I know this all the time in the community. Some people care, most don't. They say, okay, he was a nice guy, and now he's gone. They may not even mention his name, but if an attractive female dies, stop the presses. Everyone's crying. And that's just the nature of it. Beauty matters. If a 15 year old boy dies and there's no narrative overarching him, then it happens. Too bad, so sad, we gotta move on. Female does, it matters. Because females provide something that is scarce, they have limited fertility, their role is more precious in a way. However, that's why history matters. That's why it's so male. Because, in a way, guys want to make history because they may want to matter that way. They want to have that legacy, to have that importance, to have that value. So that when they do go, it's not necessarily the fact that they want someone to care since that seems kind of whiny and weak, very tenuous. But it's just that they want their name to have value more so than just the architect of a family or of a community. And now that's definitely not going to happen. They're never going to have that name. It's come to a point where I certainly believe that if we can't archive history that a lot of the people from this generation onwards, they're not going to be remembered for shit. Because we don't have that sense of community or family to link each other. Even though the technology is much better. Can you imagine, like, 1910s technology and our culture? It would be a mess. Certainly. So from a gender view, that's kind of my thoughts on history. For racial view, I really don't know how I would take the subject, but those are my two cents. Take with it whatever you want. This is Mr. Wonka 7, and that's the D.